Almost 30,000 tons of lead ore can be taken from the Missouri mines in a day. That's enough to fill a giant cargo ship every 12 hours. But mining is just the beginning of lead's journey. Milling is literally the make and break part of this strategic undertaking that if not done precisely, can cause millions of dollars in losses from unrecovered lead. But lead doesn't roll alone. This is one element that likes to hang with the crowd. It's up to the Doe Run Company mill in Missouri to separate the lead from the rock and other elements in the ore, such as zinc, copper, and iron. What we have to do is break the physical bond between the mineral and the host rock, and we do that by running it through the crusher. I like to use the analogy of a walnut. You have to break the shell of the walnut in order to get the sweet meat of the walnut inside. That's what we're doing here. We're breaking that bond so we can get the good sweet lead mineral. A series of grinders crush the ore into smaller and smaller pieces until it is more like a powder. At this point, we also add water, and we use water to carry the ore through the rest of the process as a slurry. What they do now to extract the lead, this heavy metal, is a process you'd probably never imagine. They float it out. Can you imagine floating lead? Lead is 13 times heavier than water, but we use the chemical and the physical process of flotation to float the lead mineral out of the froth. They do that by mixing the ore slurry with a number of chemicals similar to those found in laundry detergent. The lead particles then hitch a ride on the bubbles that float to the surface. The foam at the top, which contains the lead, is skimmed off and dried. Left behind is lead concentrate. I like to use the analogy of an automatic clothes washer. You put your dirty laundry into the washing machine, add a little bit of detergent, and then when you turn the washing machine on, water starts coming in and it fills it up and you start the agitation. But you see suds start to form. These suds actually latch onto the dirt particles on the clothes and float them away. We're using the same process here in the mill, only we're saving the dirt and we're throwing the clothes away. That's where we get the lead out.